darn I can see my breath this morning tried to scare me to death last night with this all of a sudden out of nowhere frost warning gonna be 33 to 38 degrees I was like wait a minute looks like we hit 41 here at the house Don had gone and moved my mum and the ficus tree and that little ivy there on top of the table into the garage uh, just in case but I don't think we're going to have had any damage Good morning, Panther. Hi, bud. Hi. How are ya? Do you stay nice and warm on your heating pad? That's a good boy. The morning heating pad check shows all good. He's been sleeping more in the one down on the end but panther he's lucky he has he has choices <laughs> uh, i've had my fried egg and a couple of strips of bacon i'm good good morning gray good morning yeah Don and I are going for a walk. I'm just looking. Marty and um, Tux are both on hot spots. And the other boys are roaming. Um, pretty sure Stripe was down below last night over there where there's no heat. And then this morning he was here. But at bedtime Tux was down there. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where everybody's sleeping and making sure everybody's warm. There's plenty of warm spots, they just need to utilize them. <laughs> well, it's warmed up a little bit and we're out here, out here for our walk before we hop in the car to take Johnny back. I am weepy about taking Johnny back. <laughs> and Don, weepy. And <laughs> yeah, let's call it weepy. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Mom, poor mom. Well, I'm so excited about how he's doing down there and settled in and growing growing and all of those things. But I'm a mom and I'm still allowed to miss him. That's why. Right. And you know, I knew this weekend was going to go by really fast and you know what? It went by super fast. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that if you look up high on some of the trees or some of the taller trees, you can start to see some pretty color. Don and I have been seeing um, the last few days in the paper, they've been showing Blue Ridge Parkway pictures. Totally gorgeous right now. Peak time up there. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to our color as it starts to come in here in the next week or two. Should be any time now. Although, after last night's frost scare they're talking about a record high temperature of 86 for next sunday so yeah, baby some place in the country is going to be below normal cold because we're going to be above normal hot. normal hot <laughs> um but yeah we're on our way out of south park we did the pokemon loop we walked the track one time we did not see rosa today and uh we don't have a hard we got things to do today yeah well we don't have a hard stop for leaving with johnny but we're sort of shooting for around noon okay. got to do all the important stuff before you go right what's the most important thing kitty time <laughs> kitty time Right meow. We got it today. It's brown sugar topped boba tea something, but look at the look at the metal sign I got. Oh, that's just the cutest in the old uh huh. Never underestimate an old woman with cats and photography skills. Yeah, but I don't save the 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 old, old woman. woman. I assured Johnny at fifty five it was totally acceptable. Yeah, I did I just wouldn't risk <laughs> I'm it. I'm not sensitive Johnny, don't about risk it. it. Don't risk it, buddy. Well, not with anybody but your mom. So Don plugged in Salisbury and then the school union deck 
and uh, he likes Salisbury it's on the way down it's right turns it's a gorgeous day for a drive you can't you know really can't get any prettier than this I looked over to tell you what the temperature was and in full self-driving mode you can't see it <laughs> Nope. Ruby's like nope I'm being stingy I have all this green real estate but I'm not going to show you that right uh, according to Weatherbug, it's 68 out there. It's gorgeous. I was curious to see if in Ruby, and we have free supercharging with this car, if we could tell the cost per kilowatt hour for Salisbury. And uh, immediately right offhand, I don't see it. It's telling me it's 250 kilowatt. It's telling me it's 12 stalls. It's showing me when it's busy. Um, and it's always shown what amenities are there but now it's showing pictures what happens if you touch one of the pictures no it didn't get any bigger okay it doesn't get any bigger but it is showing us pictures yeah so way cool and a lot of them too but i was looking up at the charging screen and this of course is for our trip last friday last page charging session thomasville zero and that's because um you know, Ruby has free free supercharging. So I was just curious about the cost per kilowatt hour and um, I can't I can't see it. It's not showing me. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one I look at it it just but you're right, all of them have or have these pictures now down here. Oh, this, this is got Wi Fi or something. Yep. Yeah, Sheets has Wi Fi. Cool. Thanks, Johnny. I tried to knock over ice but my cup had a lid. <laughs> I didn't bring a, a Lego kit to put together today, but I'm checking out this book that I bought last year. I might really want to build the Whoville house or the Whoville sled. And then I've got that Harry Potter book too, because you know, it is Halloween and there are sort of ghostly spooky things in the Harry Potter book. So I think I recorded a minute ago that we can't see the cost of supercharging in Ruby either looking in the app at Ruby or in the car Ruby we, we can't see it our friend Andy just sent this screen from his car and it has the cost at that supercharger on that um, you know over here but but for us it's been removed it's just literally it's not there We're here in Salisbury at the Culver's. Don's got a tea, needed some caffeine, and I've got a water. Yeah. Johnny stayed in the car because he's already had boba tea, leftover Smithfield's fried chicken, yeah. and some other stuff today. He's doing well. He is. He's all set for now. And uh, just a quick stop and go. I think, Donnie, this is an experiment. We're sorry we walked through the landscaping of they're going to need to put a path there. Don says the best way to figure out where to put paths is to watch where people walk and then come back and put them. <laughs> it's deep. Looks like the same guy. It is. Oh, really? The same guy that yeah. did our Bond Park? Guy, yep, know. that was the, the beep bus. Yep. Well, Johnny has a great view over this bridge. I love it. Every time I come, it's a little different. And but it's uphill. It is in this direction. I saw a chipmunk off to the side a little bit ago. There's some color now. Johnny's on a mission when there's real color to get me a picture. Spaceship meals on six wheels. I guess the fast food places inside come out, load them up and send them off. We always see them around campus. <laughs> Don's. Johnny didn't need us to leave the laundry basket or no, the cooler, so yeah. Space in the dorm is at a premium. All right, next time I'll show you the shop and walk out Amazon store. I saw it in the student union on the way through, but not on the way back. That would be kind of cool to check out. Well, we're headed back home through Thomasville. 
uh, says we'll be home at 7.45 p.m. It's, it's basically three hours each way, plus we walked Johnny in, um, helped him in with his stuff, so. Say it isn't so. Yeah, there was a red model Y over on the other line, others. In the shoulder. On the shoulder with his emergency flashes on. It didn't look like it was damaged. And I didn't see anyone in the car, though, no, either. I didn't see anybody in the car, that's right. Huh. I don't know. We're 20 minutes out from Thomasville. To be clear, we could probably charge Ruby or Jules up to 95% and sit longer at the supercharger stop on the way down and not and maybe make it home without stopping. But Don and I prefer the quick stop and charge in both directions. Right. That's a you know personal preference. It doesn't mean that's what everybody would do. And we did see a Lucid coming in the other direction. I mean, we have seen a ton of Teslas today. Um, I go out on a limb and say 20. Oh, easily. Easily, yeah. yeah. We're basically in the two biggest cities in the state. So next to, next in line would be Greensboro, Winston-Salem area. So there's a lot of, lot of infrastructure and a lot of EVs. But All right. Thomasville, here we are. It's beginning to feel like home away from home, Donnie. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we're waiting on the car four or five minutes, but um, the line inside, the self-checkouts were down. And there was, what, 10, 15 people? Ten. There was a lot of people ten. in line. Yeah, we would we'd still be inside and the car would be done. One we poor left. cash registered girl. Yeah. Yep. yeah, it was not good. Yeah, it was. Seven thirty-three p.m. Twenty-nine miles. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm gonna go inside and get busy making Taco Tuesday. JB says he likes Taco Tuesday. Sounds Taco great. Taco Tuesday with an extra helping of onion for me and minus the shells. 